है स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग द सब्जेक्ट ग्राउंड इंप्रूवमेंट टेक्निक्स फॉर सिक्स सेमेस्टर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एज पर ए पी जे के टू सिलेबस एंड आई एम रियाना फ्रॉम एस एन आई टी आडो सो टूडे इन अवर रिविशन पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबउट मॉड्यूल टू मॉड्यूल टू इज रिगार्डिंग ग्राउटिंग प्रोसीजर grouting is an important ground improvement technique now what is grouting it is the process of injection of slurry or a liquid solution into a soil or rock formation so the process of injection of a slurry or liquid solution into a soil or rock formation is termed as grouting the injected material is referred to as grout so grouting is the process of injecting a liquid solution into a soil or rock formation in order to improve the properties of the formation the injected material is referred to as grout now what is grout grout is a construction material which is used to embed rebar in masonry walls connect sections of precast concrete fill voids and seal joints etc this is the general definition for grout so grout is always a liquid form material or it is a solution or fluid like material which is used for various purposes grout is generally composed of a mixture of water cement sand often color tint and sometimes fine gravel so since it is a liquid material its base is always the lubricant water now the different materials used for grouting the different materials which includes cement and water cement rock floor and water cement clay and water cement clay sand and water asphalt clay and water chemicals etc so these are the various materials which are used as grouts and clay only so the different materials which are used for the purpose of grouting include cement and water cement rock floor and water cement clay and water cement clay sand and water asphalt clay and water chemicals clay ground shale and rock floor uses of grouts the grouts can be applied or used for producing mass concrete structures and piles it is used for fixing ground anchors for sheet pile walls concrete pile walls retaining walls tunnels etc it is used for repairing the ground underneath a formation or cracks and structural defects on building masonry or pavement It is used for fixing the tendons in pre-stressed post-contentioned concrete. It is used for filling the void between the lining and rock face in tunnel wall. Next is the aspects or modes of grouting. There are basically three aspects or three modes for grouting. They are first one permeation or penetration grouting. Here the grout flows into the soil voids. freely with minimal effect the second one is compaction or controlled displacement here the grout remains more or less intact as a mass and exerts pressure on the soil and the third one is hydraulic fracturing or uncontrolled displacement here the grout rapidly penetrates into a fractured zone created when the grout pressure is greater than tensile strength of soil or rock so 
there are basically three modes or three aspects for grouting. They are permeation or penetration grouting, compaction or controlled displacement, hydraulic fracturing or uncontrolled displacement. In case of permeation grout, the grout penetrates with minimal effect. In case of compaction or controlled displacement, the grout remains more or less inact as a mass and exerts pressure on the particular soil. And the third one, hydraulic fracturing or uncontrolled displacement, here the grout very fastly or very rapidly it get penetrate, penetrates into the fractured or cracked zone. Here is a picture showing the three aspects of grouting, permeation grouting or penetration, compaction grouting or controlled displacement and hydraulic fracturing or uncontrolled displacement. We can see the different uh, features of grout here. We can see the grout pipe there. Next is the desirable characteristics of a grout. The main characteristics of a grout or the grout characteristics involve first one groutability. The groutability of a soil with a specific grout, it is a measure of the ability of the grout to penetrate through the soil. The grout should possess sufficiently high fluidity and the suspended particles if any must be of size that enables them to enter the void space in the soil mass. So groutability is the ability of the grout to penetrate into the soil. Second one is stability. It is the capacity of the grout to remain in a fluid state and not to segregate into its separate components. Stability of clay cement ground is usually more than that of a cement grout. So stability means the capacity of a ground to maintain its fluid state. And the third one is setting time. It is the time that takes by the grout for the purpose of setting. Additives are used to retard or accelerate the setting time of grout. Next is permeance. The permeance indicates the resistance of the grout against displacement. Cement grouts have greater permeance as compared to the bentonite grouts. Next is toxicity. It is the capacity of the grout to contaminate the groundwater. Uh, sometimes we are using the chemicals as grout. So there may be a chance of contamination of the groundwater. So these are the five desirable properties that a grout should process. They are the groutability, stability, setting time, permeance and toxicity. Next is grouting materials. The grouting materials involve suspensions. Suspension means grout particles in a suspension in a liquid medium that is usually cement plus water, clay etc. Second one emulsions. They are minute droplets of liquids in suspensions usually asphalt or bitumen with water. And third one is solutions or chemical grouts. Chemical grouts are usually obtained as solutions. They are homogeneous mixture of two or more liquids. Next, suspension grouts. Suspension grouts, grouting with soil. The groutability ratio is always greater than 20. The soil can be used to fill up voids in coarse grained soils. Here the soil is used as a grout. Uh, the soil which is used for uh, grouting purpose must be very fine grained. Clay grouts can be also used in this case in order to reduce the permeability. Kalanate and elite based clays are usually used. They possess low viscosities. They are known as filler grouts. Uh, in case of suspension grouts, grouting with soil, bentonite is also used. It is used to control the viscosity strength and flow para, uh, properties. Mud jacking is also there. 
in order to raise the payment slabs and to underpin shallow building foundations. The another type of suspension grout is suspension grouts with cement. They are suitable for cracks or voids wider than 0.2 mm. They are usually formed from ordinary Portland cement and water. Their water cement ratio adopted is 0 0.5 is to 1 to 5 is to 1. Rapid hardening sim. In case if you are using rapid hardening cement, it can be preferred in ground with flowing water. If you are using super sulfate cement, we are using it for fissured rocks. And admixtures such as bendonites are used to keep the cement particles in suspension. Seepage cutoff beneath dams, groundwater control, etc., are the different purposes in which we are employing the suspension grouting with cement. Next is emulsion grouts and solution grouts. Emulsion grouts or asphalt emulsion. Asphalt is obtained as a residue of oil refinery. It is processed, mixed with water, and emulsify the grout form. It is a slow setting grout, so it spreads in large area. Anionic or cationic asphaltic globules are manufactured by choosing proper emulsifying agent. The globules, that is 1 to 2 micrometer diameter along with water, can be used as grout to fill soil voids and rock fissures. Rock fissures of about 10 micrometer size and medium cells can be grouted. Slow setting emulsions generally chosen in case of asphalt emulsion, they can travel longest distance into the material. Solution grouts, that is chemical grouting. Chemical grouts like silicates and acrylic resins are usually employed. They solidifies by means of chemical reaction. They are used in seepage barriers, stabilization of soils around tunnels, etc. The principle of injection is permeation grouting. In case of solution grouting, we adopt the principle of permeation grouting. It has many advantages as compared to that of the suspension grouts. It has more control on the properties of the soil. So, today we are discussed about the grouting, the basics of grouting. Uh, I hope that you have understood about what is grouting and what is grout, which are the different types of grouts. Uh, the differences between solution grout, suspension grout and emulsion grout is very important. There are different types of solution grouts are available. Study it properly. Okay. Thank you. Stay safe.